Nobody is using this trading method. If you want any cheap and reliable ultimate team coins, make sure to check out mulefactory.com. There's a link in the description. They have the best prices and make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 at checkout for a discount. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and I have another sniping video or trading method for you guys. And this method, I've not seen anywhere else. It is absolutely crazy. So if you are enjoying the content from me, make sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. And nearly 90% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. So make sure to subscribe down below to be first to the brand new methods on how to make coins. So this sniping filter is actually looking at the stadium items. It can get quite confusing because there are many item types where if you look for a gold or rare item, they quick sell for more than 450 coins. I'm gonna go through a list of the items we'll be looking at because it can get a little bit confusing because you guys need to follow this to make sure you pick up all the deals. The items you will need to be buying are badge, kit, then we have player celebration, club nickname, then we skip ahead to stadium theme, stadium base color, then we have TIFO, XL TIFO, tinted flags, two stick banners, and crowd chants. All of those items, if you buy them for 450 coins, you can quick sell them for 483 coins. And for some reason, club nickname quick sells for like 540 coins. I don't know why that one is so much more expensive, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. What you can do is, you have to search gold rare for any of these filters and you can snipe any of the ones I did list off. However, this is a slow method. You will get some deals, but we're not going to be searching like that. What we need to do is, it's more of an advanced sniping method, I'd say, but it's not very hard. So what you need to do is, you go badge, say your quality to gold rare, press search. There's nothing. Then you move kit, gold rare, press search. Then you go play celebration, gold rare, search. And you have to go through each of the things that I did list up and then you just go to gold rare, press search. So base color, gold rare, press search. TIFO, gold rare, search. And sniping like this, you don't actually get hit off the market like barely at all because you're always actually finding cards or changing through your filter. So as we can see, we picked up this for what, 300 coins? We quick sell it for 485. The good thing on quick sell is there's no tax. Also, it's guaranteed coins, it's instant profit. There we got another one, 350 coins. We can quick sell that for 485. No tax on these. So this is in sense the method. It's a little bit confusing, but I'm gonna show you guys. I did this for probably like five, 10 minutes earlier and it's pretty mad how many cards I did manage to pick up. <laughs> so we got club nickname. We picked this one up for, if I have a look, 200 coins. Quick sell that for 545. Again, another club nickname. Bought this one for 250. Sell it on for 300 coins flat. Another nickname, 450. Quick sell it for 500. And then we've got badges. We've got two stick banners. We've got kits. we got more badges. we got stadium themes, player celebration. We'll ignore the Locatelli's. That was from my last video. But all of these cards, you pick them up for 450 coins or less. You quick sell them for instant profit. Like anybody can do this. You're barely contested on these snipes because no one is buying this stuff. And it's, it's so, so easy to make coins. So I'm just gonna show you guys a live example. I won't even need to cut it because I will guarantee if we do just one full cycle through all of them, we will find a deal. So we start off with badge, 450 gold rare, nothing. Kit, search, here we go. Kit, 450 mm. coins, Fenerbahce. We missed that one, but it's okay. So we keep moving on, play celebration. Nothing there. Club nickname. Nothing there. Then we move over to stadium theme. It will be a bit frustrating if, like, to uh, get the hang of which ones to search for and which ones not to. But once you do it for a bit, we see we get a West Ham theme. Picks it up for like 300 coins. Quick sell it for 485. So then we've got stadium base color is our next one. Nothing there. Then it's TIFO. Nothing. XL TIFO. Here we go. We got one for 400 and we get another one for 450. It's about 80, it's only like, uh, uh, between both of them, it's only like an 85 coin profit. But you saw how quickly we got that. It was literally, it's one search. You're not weighing around. We get some tinted flags for 450. We'll quick sell it on for 35 coins. It's more like the profit, obviously, if you want to make like 1K on an, okay, well, that's a decent deal. 250 for the Poland one. We'll quick sell it for 485. If you want to make huge profits on single snipes, obviously, this isn't your go-to method, but I would actually say this is probably one of the most efficient ways to make coins on the market because you're not getting hit off the market. You're literally sniping about nine different filters 
at once and you just like that card have been on the market for five seconds i was gonna say if we got that it would have been pretty crazy but people don't buy this stuff straight away so us actually filtering through them these cards can be listed up on the market for like five ten seconds and nobody actually buys them here we go stadium theme that had been on the market for seven seconds orange and green we picked it up for i don't even know but it's profit we'll quick sell that on it is really that simple so the reason why we aren't searching the other fit the other like filters is because either they're worth way more so all of the f fires and the flares the fireworks all of those sort of ones these ones are flame cannons confetti, ca confetti cannons sparklers all of that stuff is worth like seven eight hundred coins like just minimum buy now so you can search for those however you wouldn't want to quick sell them you would actually list them up for their various prices but the kits and the bulls and celebrations i guess you might know that certain ones are worth more so you can list those up for more but it's easy enough just to go through snipe them and quick sell like it's it's one of the easiest filters ever and you don't even have to like change the price or anything you just change your item type put it to gold rare hit search and you just repeat the process going through all of them it's it's crazy this filter well it's multiple filters i guess that's what there's two that card had been on the market for like 30 seconds and like we pick up the napoli so you can also actually bid on these if you wanted. So you could go through each of them and just bid 450 on each item. I'm not, I just don't really like bidding methods. You can do it, but obviously once you're bidding the cards, since lots of people know they quick sell for more, you'll have to like wait nearly a full hour if you want to bid on these cards. Let me just show you an example. So if we set the max price to 400 coins and go to bid on them, we're already in the 58th minute, 59th minute. Like it, it's going to work but you're going to have to wait basically an hour before you win your cards. So if you have patience or you're struggling with sniping, you can go through all of these filters and bid on them. So as you can see, kits is probably actually an easier one. So as you see, they're 200 coins. We can bid 450. You're still obviously going to have to wait all of that time. But if you don't want to snipe, it's a secondary way you can trade using this method. Here we go. Crowd chant 450 coins. That's not a chant. Oh, a card. Sorry, crowd card. We picked that one up. Yeah, if you get the hang of this, which is not too hard, it is just free money. You just search through. You don't get hit off the market, which is the thing I hate the most about sniping. But this filter, you don't get hit off the market. You can just search all day. Cards are constantly getting listed because you're checking nine different filters. And it's the easiest coins you'll ever make on the game because you don't even have to sell on your cards. You literally just discard them. Thank you for the support on my previous video. I hope this one does the same. I'm trying to up the quality of my content. I hope you guys are enjoying what the videos are like now. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on my next video.